What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. And even though I troll SIG a lot, I really do like the P365. Now I did have a P320 Compact. I rarely get rid of my firearms after I buy them, but I did get rid of that one. I just didn't find any need for it. And honestly, I like the, um, what do you call it? The XDM Elite Compact much better. And I like my Glock 19 a whole lot better. Now, when it comes to P365, I love double stack micro nines. I love all subcompacts. So I thought I'd give this thing a go. When I first got it, I loved it. Great sights, you know, and it ran. Now I did run into a little trouble with it, but I think we're gonna be in good shape. Everything is the spec, everything is the way it should. So I thought I'd do a little review about the grips and stuff like that. Now when I first got it, I bought it with the regular grip module. The thing I don't like about this grip, it is it, it's so, so thin this direction. And because it's like only an inch wide plus thin this direction, it's a real weird, awkward grip. So on top of that, I ordered the XL. The XL felt really good in the hand, very ergonomic. So if you are going to get a SIG P365, I automatically, right out of the box, I would say get the X, so the P365X. And that will hold a 12 round magazine flush, which is really nice. The problem with doing what I did, with starting with the regular P365 and then upgrading, is your magazines don't come with the right base plate after that. You'd have to go out and buy those, which isn't a big deal, but it's just something to think about. And this feels way better than this does with that grip base plate for 12 rounds. Now, then I also, someone told me, you know, you gotta get the Wilson Combat. You'll like how wide it is here, and it's wider here, plus it has better texture, which I'll show you right here. Look at the comparison. So it's wider, has better texture, and it's wider this way. And when I felt this, I was like, dang, that feels really good. And so someone said, you also need to get the X. So I am gonna be building another SIG out of this whole, you know, out of some of these and some leftover parts I have, which will be awesome. But um, as you can see, this thing is just super ergonomic, feels good, and you can shoot with a pinky hanging off. But I had to go and take care of business and get the Wilson Combat X grip module. This is the perfect setup. Now I will be building an XL out of this, but for right now, I love this setup right here. This is perfect. 12 rounds flush. It's still a little wider. Like, as you know, I like my Glock 26, which is a wider carry firearm. So I do like how it's wide. It's not as wide as a 26, which I'll show you right here. Significantly less wide, but it is textured really nice up front and the back. And then you have this decent texturing on the sides. The one main issue I have with the P365 is this weird rail. Because it's so different. When you put your thumb here, your, your thumb just gets lost in that rail. And it's sort of slippery and sort of goes with it. So when you're trying to fight recoil and get a good grip, it just feels weird and off. Whereas something like the Hellcat has this little indent that is textured. So that actually really helps you fight recoil and is really nice. But once you shoot this thing, you realize it's less snappy than the Hellcat. And no need for, you know, what I'm talking about. This is just fine. This will hold up. Now... Do I like this firearm? Yes. Do I have to put more rounds to it to make sure it's fine? Yes, and I will be doing that soon. I would say right out of the bat, get a Wilson Combat Grip Module. It makes a whole lot of a difference. I'll show you the comparison here. So it is gonna be a little wider, but the texture is the main thing. And on top of it, the width that in this direction. It's a great firearm. It is something that once I um, actually put some more rounds through, about 500 rounds through, make sure I don't have any issues. This will probably end up in my carry rotation. It does have a decent trigger, but in all honesty, because it's a SIG and it does not, just looking at it and seeing no trigger safety just makes me a little nervous. No drop safety, it makes me a little nervous. But you know, how many people own a SIG P365? How many people have issues? So I trust it um, when it comes to that. But still, I need to put some more rounds through it. I do like the sights a lot. They're great three dot x-ray sights or whatever they are, um, not 100% sure what you call the SIG sights, but they are great. They are really nice, they're very bright. Um, but yeah, that's my take on SIG, the SIG P365, as well as the grip modules for it. And my opinion, what I think is best. And honestly, this is a great overall package that I can't argue with. Thanks for watching.